Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, what do I mean by live in case maybe you're new to these videos? When I say live, I mean that this is not a situation where everything has already been recorded and now I'm coming back and doing a trade recap or some sort of voiceover or post commentary, nothing like that. I'm recording myself, seeing the information live for the very first time. So if you want raw emotions, raw thoughts, you are gonna get that here. If you are looking for a nicely edited, a nicely scripted video, then uh, you know this is not gonna be worth your time. But if you just want a nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then you will find that here. So market opens up here in about 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and pause and see you back at the open. Well, I have this green line here marked out at 575.50, and it's looking like it's gonna come in a play right away. Tesla just uh, really dropped quite a bit in the last part of the day, and yeah, right there, but look at that. Maybe getting ready to bounce right off it, so I would like to see it bounce first. Excellent, good. Isn't that crazy? Essentially bounced right off that line. So I'm still interested at that level, and I'm definitely bearish biased. Currently watching I'd like to see it bounce up a little bit more though. But yes, very interested at the 575.50 mark. And I will be trading options on it. Definitely just wanna see how this first minute plays out here. So as of now, isn't that crazy though? Bounced right off that level. Well, not exactly, but I think we can all agree. All right, what is that? 578. So in there at 1560, looking for this thing to come down to at least 577. So let's see it come down to 577. There we go. See if we can get it to break down through there. 575.50, that's the key level now. Is it gonna break or is it gonna bounce once again? There's the break. Good. And all out there, $405 in two minutes. I love me some options. 400, because it's 932, yeah. And if you're not familiar with my screen, there is right there. And the time is just, you can see I got out of the position at 932 and 30. Okay, so two and a half minutes, $400. Isn't the market a crazy place? Truly, truly a crazy place. But let's see it also I can find out there, maybe make another trade on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now. Quick little update, glad I got out where I did. Just the importance of watching what is known as level twos over here, um, as this thing is totally now rolled back or uh, gone back upwards. But now I'm curious, could there be another uh, short? I'm very curious to see how the price could behave up here around 583, if it can get up to that area. So let me just, Yeah. So I'm very curious, how does, I would like to see the price poke its head up above that level. And then come back down. Again, like I said, step one for me, can the price get up above that area? In fact, why don't I do this just to protect my risk here a little bit. Just go with one contract. 
So in there at 1610, like I said, I think this thing wants to potentially roll back over. Just one contract though this time. Okay, what is that? Five. I will look to add another at 850. What is that at 882.50? If it drops back. Okay, in there for another one. So let's see if this thing wants to roll back over here now. First stop, 582, where I'd want to see the price get down to. Again, 582, and then hopefully get down through there. Beautiful setup here. See if we can get down through 582. Close. I'm being stubborn. Wow. Well, I was thinking about adding down there. I'm glad I didn't. At this point though, if it does come down to 582, I will consider adding another contract. Oh, it's just coming down here a little faster than what I thought it would. Okay, I'm not gonna add on this candle if it comes down here. So took the $50 there, feel like it, what I want to see was it to come down here and then go sideways a tad more and then come back down. I feel like that move was just getting way too overextended and maybe, yeah, maybe, well, I mean, I'm, I'm in hindsight now, so of course I'm, it's going to be a bad trade in one form or another, uh, but the way that one was taken up, I didn't, I felt that move was all occurring way too fast, but. Yeah, in hindsight, not only should I ha have held, I should have, yeah, I should have added. I should not have made that requirement of, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to add on that candle. But again, to be fair, that is hindsight trading and in hindsight trading and in hindsight judging, you're always going to be able to find all sorts of things wrong uh, with the trade. But um, I'll take it, especially when it's not even 10 minutes in the day, I'm up $455. I mean, I, markets are a crazy place. Where in the world do you, can you have the opportunity to make 455 bucks in less than 10 minutes? Crazy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, for those of you that are uh, not aware, I do what's called the be done in 30 approach, meaning on average, I'm looking to be done every day thir with 30 minutes. Uh, some days are, are longer than 30 minutes. Other days, as you're seeing here, was done in less than 10 minutes. Um, and because I just do trading as a side hustle, I do it as a nice little extra form of income. Uh, and I realize some people get into day trading and all this. Uh, for Rolex watches and, and private jets and Lamborghinis. And that's cool. If that's what you want to get, then I, 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 hope you, I hope you get it. Go for it. Uh, for me, I, I do it for freedom of time. I want it because I want to be able to choose to use the, my time however I want. And if I can be done after 30 minutes, like I said, on average, then I am more than happy with that. But like I said, today, 
basically 10 minutes and I am done. Now, if you do enjoy these live trade videos, one big request on my part, because they are truly live, they're not exactly easy to make. I have to think for myself. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to make alerts in the chat room. I have to, because I do offer a chat room community. I have to, uh, you know, execute my own trades. I have to manage my own trades. And there's just a lot going on. So they are possible. I mean, I've been doing them for since basically 2013, but just from a good old fashioned time management 101 perspective, I wanna make sure that I'm still using my time effectively and I wanna make sure that there's still interest in these videos. So if you do enjoy the live trade videos, then two things, hit the like button, leave a basic comment. The comment could be something as simple as a smiley face emoji, but those two things communicate to me that you do enjoy these videos and that uh, you know you find value in them and that you, uh, you, you just that you like them. And as long as I know that people like them, I will keep on making them. So do those two things. Then also check out the channel as a whole. There's a lot of different videos out there. I'm not a big fan of people saying, hey, subscribe to my channel after it's been like five minutes. But I will say, hey, at least check out the channel and hopefully uh, if you like what you see enough, then uh, you'll hit that subscribe button. As I would love to have you as a subscriber. But like I said, if nothing else, if you want these videos to keep on uh, occurring, hit the like button, leave a simple basic comment down below. Thanks for hanging out. Everybody have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.